Unit 9, The Conic Sections. Part A, Parabolas, the Quadratic Function. Lesson 1, Origins. Objective, to understand the origin of and to be able to recognize the four conic sections and know the appropriate terms associated with each. With this lesson, we begin a brief overview of a group of second degree relations called conic sections. As the word section comes from a Latin word meaning to cut, these relations are named because they can be formed by cutting a cone. Let me show you what I mean. Geometrically, I will start with a vertical line called the axis through a point called the vertex. Then I will choose another line through the vertex and rotate it in such a way that it sweeps out a precisely circular path around the axis. I have now created a right circular cone. As you can see, it consists of two circular parts called an upper nap and a lower nap. This word nap comes from a French word meaning sheet and is the same word from which we get our word napkin. These two naps are, in fact, circular sheets originating at the vertex. Now, why is this three-dimensional geometric shape so important? Because if we cut the cone with a plane, we can trace several important mathematical curves that have application in real life. For example, if we cut the cone with a plane at a right angle to the axis, then the path of our cut would be a circle, certainly a special and useful mathematical curve. Of course, we all know what a circle is, but it is helpful to know that the word comes from a Latin word meaning ring and is the same word from which we get our word circus. That makes sense, doesn't it? If instead we cut the cone at an angle slightly off of perpendicular to the axis, the path of the cut would be an ellipse, another very special curve and one that has very natural applications in our world. In astronomy, for example, the planets in our solar system, as well as Halley's Comet, revolve around the sun in elliptical orbits. The word ellipse comes from a Greek word meaning to fall short, and it really applies to a mathematical relationship that falls short of the number one. For our purposes, however, it is easier to remember what an ellipse is if we remember that it falls short of a circle. It is not perfectly round. Then suppose we angle the plane even more so that it is parallel to the line that generated the cone. The path of that cut would be a parabola. This word comes from a Greek word meaning to throw alongside and was probably used because it is the same type of path an object thrown upward would take as it rises and falls symmetrically alongside a vertical line. Parabolic curves are used extensively for reflectors in electronics, in telescopic mirrors, and in bridge building. Finally, if we cut the cone with a plane that is parallel to the axis, we will in fact be cutting both naps of the cone. And that double path is called a hyperbola. This curve also has a real application in astronomy. Some comets in our universe, for instance, travel with such speed that they are not captured by our sun's gravitational field. So they travel into our system and out again in hyperbolic orbits, never to return. The word hyperbola comes from a Greek word meaning excess and is the same word from which we get our word hyperactive. That seems reasonable, doesn't it? It actually was chosen to reflect a mathematical relationship that is in excess of the number one. But maybe it will simply help us to know that this is an excessive curve that never comes around again. These curves were known and studied by the Greeks almost 2,500 years ago 
And because they have many applications in mathematics and the real world, they continue to be studied today. In the lessons to come, we will examine each of these curves in some detail, concentrating mainly on the mathematical relations whose solution sets graph into those shapes. Oh, by the way, there are no problems in the work text for this lesson. We just wanted to introduce you to the concept. There is, however, an overview of the terms, diagrams, and applications you will probably find useful as you work through the rest of this unit.